hello guys welcome back in this video let's explore height blend filter right now i've got a file it is meet mat it's a sample file you can open from here meet mat okay so height blend is a filter where you have one or more height maps and then you want to blend them you can generally use it for that uh, it is more a substance designer tool rather substance painter one but let's explore it uh, so i would like to create a fill layer okay and uh, I just wanted this layer to be used in the height uh, map only or I can just put color also. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a fill in uh, the stack of that layer and in that I will only use height and in this I'm going to use any texture maybe I'm going to use this bricks uh, texture and you should be able to see this one okay. We can use blending modes it's not uh, I mean I again as I told it's not uh, a substance painter tool but yeah. Uh, so in this layer stack, I'm going to add a filter on top of it and then I'm going to use this height blend filter and then uh, we have uh, two uh, layers which is height current and height uh, bottom. So I can generally use this uh, uh, height current. Uh, we have a slider here and uh, height bottom again we have a slider. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to plug in uh, textures here. So this uh, attributes may not may not be available once you have created so i'll take a directional one and you should be able to see uh, to the previous layer which was the bricks and you should be able to see the uh, lines here and uh, that uh, 0.5 value the slider is gone and you got the height directional noise attributes where you can start exploring that okay and then uh, we we can also invert them if required and uh, we have height bottom in that i'm going to use uh, black and white foot or maybe checkers and then put it there and you should be able to see that is also used then we have uh, the height blend option that is contrast we can reduce that and play with the opacity also i'll i'll use this black and white spot instead and then you should be able to see uh, that three uh, textures are somewhere uh, subsiding each other <coughs> you can keep exploring different textures to see how this uh, three textures will uh, sort of blend with each of them uh, let's say the, there's a i mean you have uh, different uh, height maps with different gray, gray values and based on their height values the things will start uh, responding here okay 